Man is dead and two others are severely burned after a plane crashed on the south side this morning. It happened around 9 o'clock near the Stinson Municipal Airport. The night team's Jaffney Gray spoke with the couple who stepped in to help the victims. And we must warn you, some of the details you are about to hear may be disturbing to some. We come up on this big guy and he's like, I'm burning, right? So we stopped. And um, there's another gentleman sitting down and you can see this guy's like fingers like and he's his whole face is red. It was a traumatic scene. Veronica Salas and Michael Ordiales were not expecting to roll up on during their morning bicycle ride. The couple said a fire in the distance caught their attention and when they got to the location, they found two severely burned victims. The guy's like, just give me some water. So I got my water bottle and I'm squeezing as much water and I'm telling everybody else who's standing like, Hey, get water, please. The Federal Aviation Administration and police said a single engine plane attempted to take off from the San Antonio Stinson field, but soon crash landed behind a home. Without hesitation, Ordiales ran to the backyard where the mangled plane landed after learning another man was still inside. I finally see him and it's like he's like laying on his back. They say the extreme heat coming from the fire prevented them from removing the man's body. It was a terrible situation to like come up on when you finally realized that he was, you know, he was gone. I was like, oh, yeah. Like it was too. I was just too late to help him. He was somebody's dad, somebody's husband. He was somebody, you know. And I just hope that as bad as it was and as bad as he died, that his soul is somewhere, you know, good because it was what I saw wasn't good. The couple said many people had stopped and watched what was going on before first responders got there. They hope their actions encourage others to step in and help, no matter how helpless the situation may be. Jaffney Gray, KSAT 12 News. The two men who survived that crash were taken to Bamsey for their injuries. As of right now, there is no cause for the crash. The FAA and NTSB are assisting in the investigation. Turning now to